Hello guys, this topology is midterm test for GCON 223 students from Toro University. In this video, I'll demonstrate and explain step by step how to configure and how to complete all those uh, steps, all those sections. Okay, here we have requirement and uh, tasks to be done. So first, configure host names on both. And uh, by the way, you will see where you did mistakes, which part you have missing. And so watch this video a few times and you'll understand for next time how to configure such a topology. Okay. This is this is just label. Let me just change the label, switch one, and this will be switch two. Then later I'll assign host names. All right. Now configure host names on both switches. All right. Let's do it. Right now we are in privileged mode. We are going to global configuration mode, typing conf config T or conf T. So here, host name or in short host is one. We assign the name, second switch. Okay, here, same steps, same commands. Configure terminal, host name S2. We completed first question second create vlan 10 name green and vlan 20 name blue okay let's right now we are on switch two let's do it from here okay we are creating vlan 10 okay let's move this here to see the requirements we are typing vlan 10 name green okay now VLAN 20, name blue. We did it on switch two. Let's do same thing on switch one. VLAN 10, it is name green. VLAN 20, name blue. Okay, we did it. Now, configure trunk ports on and disable DTP. Now, where we have trunk ports, trunks are right here. Gigabit is in at zero slash ones. Okay. Let's go under that interface, typing interface, gig zero slash one. 0 slash 1, and we are typing switch port, mode, trunk, and uh, to disable DTP, dynamic trunking protocol, we had to type switch port, non-negotiate. Okay, we are typing this command, we are disabling DTP. And same thing here. Interface gig zero slash one switch port mode trunk and switch port non negotiate. Okay, we disabled the TPs, the TP. Now we did it. Secure line fourth, secure line consoles on both switches with password. Cisco. To complete the task, we must go under line console, type in line console zero and a password here, Cisco, and immediately login. We did uh, this task on switch two. Now, switch one. Same thing line so zero 
password, Cisco, and login. We completed step four. Now, secure VTP lines on both switches with password class. So we need VTP lines. This is VTP, VTY stands for virtual teletype. So we need this configuration to access remotely using telnet session. Okay, okay, line VTY from zero to 15 and here password is class and immediately login. We did on switch one. We did it on switch one. Okay, now on the switch two uh, line VTY 0 to 15 password plus immediately login. We completed step five. Now secure privilege, um, privilege exec mode with password GCN 223. Okay, now from global configuration mode, enable secret and here GCON 223. We did on switch two. Now switch one. Exit from global configuration mode, enable secret GCON 223. We completed step six, encrypt passwords. Why we need uh, to encrypt passwords? Because uh, those parts, passwords are in clear text and uh, those passwords are visible. Let's check, do, show, run. Okay, and look here, all passport, passwords are visible. To encrypt them, we have to type service password encryption. And this command encrypts those passwords. Okay, let's repeat same uh, same commands on switch to service password encryption. We completed step seven. Now configure MOTD with message. Okay, from global configuration mode, we have to type banner. M O T D paste. All right, we configured, we assigned banner M O T D and we'll configure also on a switch one. Same command. We did it. Step eight, we completed. Okay, now, uh, eight, uh, ninth step, configure VLAN 10 interface and design. Okay, all right. We on switch one. We must go on the interface, VLAN interface 10. Interface of VLAN 10 and it has IP address, IP add is uh, normal, um, 192.168.10, .10 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown. And what else we have? William Tony. VLAN 20 has IP address 20.10. We assign IP address and VLAN 1, we 
which is management VLAN. And here we have 1.10. The 1.10. Okay. We completed this task on switch one. Let's repeat and let's enter same commands here. Interface VLAN 10 and just a second, let me go back to here and interface VLAN 1. This is management VLAN and by default it is administratively down. To bring it up, we have to type no shutdown. Okay, and you see status is changed from state to up. It was down and now it's up. So let's go back here. Interface, we are on the interface VLAN 10 and we are typing IP address 192.168.10.10, 255.255.255.0. VLAN 20. It has twenty dot ten. Twenty dot ten and VLAN one it has one dot ten. One dot ten. Okay, we did uh, we completed. Step nine. Now, assign IP addresses to all PCs, as you see on the topology, and connect them to right VLANs. Okay, let's do it. Let's start from here. Uh, first of all, let's assign IP address to this PC. Okay, here we have 192, 168. That ten, that one, with subnet mask is correct. Let me uh, let me copy this. We assign. This should be last octet. The two. Let's complete first. Blue. Blue. A villain. This is three, and that is four. This is four. All right, now blue. It has twenty dot one, twenty dot one. And twenty dot two. Twenty dot two. Twenty dot two. Mm -hmm. And let's assign IP address to this PC, which is in VLAN one. One eighty two, one sixty eight. That's one. That's hundred. Okay, really good. Now let's include those pieces to write VLANs. Okay. Um, these two pieces must be in a VLAN 10. Uh, all right. Interface range. Past is in zero slash one dash two simultaneously. We are including those interfaces to VLAN 10. Type in switch port access VLAN 10 
and switch port mode access okay so we completed this task now let's go here interface range past ethernet zero slash one dash two switch ports access vlan 10 switch ports mode access we completed this task now let's include this interface fast ethernet zero slash interface fast ethernet zero slash 10 this interface must be in vlan 20 switch ports access vlan 20 switch port mode access okay we completed this task and let's go here interface fast is in zero slash n switch port mode access switch port access uh, we then one so we completed all these steps now let's establish telnet session from command prompt we are typing telnet 192 168 mm, that one what is ip address mm, of oh, one that ten one that ten okay so we are typing here is it class enable and now we are trying to access to the privileged mode and typing g c o n 223 and we are in in switch one okay this is the configuration we completed now you can compare your uh, with your work and uh, you will find where you did mistake. I hope this video tutorial was uh, uh, useful for you. And uh, now you understand. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Bye-bye.